instead, try this. Y of x and t. Again, a sum of 1 to infinity. And this time, I'm going to leave out the a n on purpose. We're going to say we're going to add up a bunch of sinusoidal shapes. And for the time part, instead of saying each, uh, each normal mode can have its own arbitrary phase by putting in a phase, we're going to do it as a sum of sine and cosine. Sine and cosine are always 90 degrees out of phase. And if you add them with different amplitudes, the result is a sinusoid of variable phase. So what I'm going to write here is just another way to write a sinusoid with variable amplitude, actually, and phase. So we're going to call it a n cosine omega n t plus b n sine omega n t, where omega n's go with the k n's for each term. All right. So we took the amplitude out here, and we used amplitudes in, turn, in front of both cosine and sine. Let's see what happens. So if we look at the initial shape, right, we know the initial shape is y of x at time 0. And we know we're trying to do this little pulse shape. And we know how to do an FFT or a, a, a Fourier series to describe that. But in terms of writing it this way, let's see, what does that look like? If we say time equals 0, sine of 0 is 0. So the bn's go away. Cosine of 0 is 1. So for time equals 0, that tells us that, it's, oops, that this thing is equal to n equals 1 to infinity. And all that's left is a n. And then sine k n x plus phi n. All right. We can also, though, figure out what this is by saying, remembering we have these other conditions. We say, oh, but we also have that y at 0 for all time equals 0. And that's what tells us that, that phi ends are 0. This is like going back to our original work on the separated solution, the f of x times the cosine omega t's. And we also know that y of l and t equals 0. And that's what told us that uh, kn is n pi over l, and omega n is n pi over l v. Right. That's what identified the normal modes. So those two boundary conditions tell us that these are really normal mode solutions. And then we can use the uh, French's method to get the ans. Right. A n would be equal to the integral from minus l to l, 1 over l times this function times sine n pi x over l. Right? So that all, we know how to do all that. But this is where it becomes really useful. Let's do the initial velocity. Okay, So that would be y dot at all x at time equals 0. And again, this is dy dt. This is now transverse velocity. Um, that would be equal to, well, we take uh, the derivative of this and set time equal to 0. The derivative of cosine is negative sine omega t, and sine omega t is 0. So this makes the a n's go away. <coughs> the derivative of the sine is cosine. It pulls out an omega n. So what we end up with is the sum of n equals 1 to infinity of sine uh, kn x plus phi n. And we get those from here again. We know kn is really n pi over l, and phi is 0. But what we're left with here is bn omega n, and then the cosine of 0 is 1. Okay. And then this is really just doing French's Fourier series again. So the initial velocities. plus French's method um, yield the bn's. So to give you an idea of what this would look like, thinking about the initial velocities, if we had the pulse and say the pulse we had going to the right, 
that was the case where this <coughs> would have a transverse velocity up and this would transverse velocity down. So if we were to have to plot that to do our Fourier series, y dot, the transverse velocity, it would just be 0 until you get to here. All right, and then here it's going down, it has some negative value. And then here it's going up, it has some positive value until you get to there, and then back to zero. So this is the thing we would essentially just have to take, make a Fourier series of to describe that motion. If you start it from rest, the whole thing is zero. Okay. If you start the pulse from rest, you really do just set these to zero, and you really do just let the modes go. That does correspond to uh, just adding the time component of the, of the normal modes really is the case of just letting it go from rest.